Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Major Green. Today I'm going to show you some more building tips and tricks. And um, yeah, let's get started. I went ahead and gathered some stuff before we started so that I wouldn't be running around. So let's get to it. Um, I have a spot in mind that I want to try, and it's right down here. And we're going to give it a shot. Uh, let's see where we are. We're right here, so let's start over here. Can't run, I'm totally full. And first thing you want to do is set down some kind of storage box because it's uh, going to be fun trying to walk to get everywhere. Let's uh, do that. Press B with the hammer in your hand. Go to the storage area. Pop one of these bad boys down. There you go. That'll do. Get some resources. All right. Got that. All right, let's go ahead and chop down some of these trees. We're going to need lots of logs. Okay, I chopped down those trees that were right around here, and these are the logs from it. Let's go ahead and make us a table saw real quick. So, again, load your hammer, load your hammer up and press B. Table saw is right here. Next to the workbench. Anywhere will do. Do we need sheet metal and car battery? We've got that right over here. Battery. Now that we have our table in here, let's go ahead and pick up our logs. Start picking them up. Oh, got to have your hands free. Pick up a log and then stick it in the table. Okay, the table, if you use that, you get eight pieces of wood from each log. But if you use the handsaw, you only get three. And if you just use the axe to cut the logs, you only get two. So the best thing to do is to build one of these table saws. You'll save yourself a lot of time if you get enough stuff to build the table saw when you're ready to cut for your wood. Get us a few pieces of wood build up so we can uh, throw them in for the wood floors. We're about to place down. Oh, here comes some rain. This should do for right now. Let's just grab what we have. Oh, and um, I've leveled up twice while I was gathering the materials. And the only skill that I got was resourceful, which is the one you'll want for your base building. It's called uh, Resourceful, and it has 50% uh, savings on building stuff. So, building, uh, cra not crafting, but building structures. Okay, I found my spot where I want to build at first. Um, right there's where we put our stuff, and it's right here next to it. Let's uh, pull out our hammer, go to defense, click the floor. Let's get our first piece in here. Maybe down here. Right there it'll do. Then we'll do the next one, it'll snap right on. And here's the fun part. moving around you get it to where it clip in there was you might have to fiddle with it for a minute three by yeah let's do three by two by three we're gonna do that in and repeat it until you get it there you go 
That's our floor plan. See it's floating. This will be the main base area. So let's go ahead and put in our parts. And let's put in some walls. Now over here on this side, I want to do a windowed wall. They can't climb through, and I can shoot out. This would be a good spot to shoot from. Same thing with over here on this wall. Let's do that. Oops. On the back, we shouldn't need any. Actually, this one's wrong. Oh, I didn't want to build it. Luckily, since the patch, we can do this. Just hold X, and then you get stuff back. You make a mistake. Get everything back. So, let's put in our doorway. There we go. Okay, here we go. We have all our walls set in place. We have our windows where we want them. Um, let's get our actual shelter and put that right inside here and the only reason i'm doing this is because they have no rough pieces yet they're still working on it hopefully soon they'll have that done you don't need a lot of them for one person really just one in the center here should do that okay that'll work now you'll notice um how much resources it takes for me to build this stuff now that's because of that skill i got resourceful it cuts this in half otherwise to build that it's eight logs eight woods 20 nails and eight sheet metal but because I have that skill, it's only four woods, four logs, ten nails, and four sheet metal. So you save so much and so much time. I mean, yeah, definitely want to get that skill right away before you start building your base. It'll save you so much. Out of wood again. All right, let's go back and make some more wood. Probably uh, grind down three or four logs real quick, and then we'll uh, head back over and start building. This is this wood is literally just to get us started. We got defense stuff coming in at the end of this. Um, that's gonna make more sense when you see it all put together. All right, we got some wood made. I'm gonna start carrying some of these logs over here. We're gonna need four of them for our shelter. Just need three more logs for that. I'm just gather up really fast, really. Once you get all your stuff laid out, we need more wood. Of course, lots more wood and some more logs over here. All right, this is our last log to build our structure. Let's go ahead and get that in. 
there we go now what i like to build next to the structure will be our brain collector right here right up close to the structure let's do why in a second There we go that's in place now that we have our uh rain collector in place right there i'm gonna put a table saw right next to it let's go uh remove the one over here real quick so we can get that battery from it let's go ahead and remove it That's all that stuff. Let's head back over here for now. Um, we're going to come back and get our uh, storage and move it into the base as well. But first, we want to finish this off so I can show you. There we go. That way, you come right in and your saw's right there. Also, this. You can climb on that saw and then get up here. Now you can shoot from your base. But to make it even easier, load up your hammer go to the wood floor let's see if we can't set this in place here here we go and now we can defend the front of our base here right from up here and you can get right up there right here no bandit's gonna get inside you'll be able to take them out easy also don't forget they can't get in these windows you can always shoot out these windows too and here inside this I'm gonna go ahead and put down our cooking stove Bam. Got that in. Some sheet metal. Let's go ahead and move our storage unit. So open it. Grab everything out. Press B, hold X to dismantle. Dismantled, pick up your stuff, and let's move over there and set it back down again. Our inventory's full. Um, food and water. Uh oh. Pay attention to your food and water. Oh. Let's take what we have and we'll go over here and put this in. Come back and get the rest of that. Go ahead and stick this. Inside, uh, uh, stick it over here. As far as your door right here, I like to do this. B, defense, wooden door. That door opens inward. Now, B, 
defense, small base door. Spin it around so that this is on this side. Door. Oh, zombies coming to say hi. Right up on it. Place that one in. They don't know what to do. Get those zombies! Look at him. Confused. Which is what I was hoping that would happen. So if you start getting overwhelmed, you just run back here and they'll try to come around the back to get you. Not move over here, they should come up this way now. Oh, yeah, here they come. See, there's a little space there but they can't get through that now you can do this you have one that opens that way then they have two doors they have to get through instead of one there you go double secured door all right, and now you're going to want to put a spawn point in somewhere. So I'm going to put mine inside here. You can put it anywhere around this area. Um, I like to put mine in here. So click on this icon right here. And right there it is, spawn point. Spin that around where you want it to face. Bam. And now we have a spawn point. Now once you built your spawn point, close your build menu, walk up to it, and hit F. And that set my respawn point to this spot right here. So now if you have more than one and you set another one down, you can even take enough stuff with you if you think you're going into a really difficult area and set down a respawn point right by where you're at and then set that as your respawn point and then go out and fight. That way you don't have to respawn here and then run across the map to get back to where you were. So I suggest if you're on the other side of the map and your base is over here, Definitely bring something to put down a respawn point, and this is all you need for it. You need two scrap metal. One scrap metal if you have that base build perk. So, no excuse. You should always have at least one scrap metal in your bag or in your car so that you can lay down a respawn spot. And then you can always pick up the respawn spot when you're done so that you don't have them laying all over or leave it if it's some place you're going to go back to. Okay, let's lay down our defense. I'm going to press B to open up our build menu. I'm going to go over here and select my barbed wire defense. That's the one I'd like to put in right now. But you could also put in traps if you wanted. You, the options are all yours. There's uh, mines and um, the pitfall trap. But I'll put those outside of this. That's how I'm going to do it. I did not put that. I... All right. Let's go ahead and pick our barbed wire defense. Go right up next to our house. Bam. Next one. Next to it. Let's go ahead and put down our workbench. Healer's choice. Wherever you want to place it. It's up to you, obviously. Um, I'm going to pop mine over here. Next to my water collector. We need one more scrap metal. We can handle that. There we go. Now 
Now that you have this in place, you can make barbed wire. Okay, let's go ahead and make our barbed wire. Now to make barbed wire, you need nails and sheet metal. Which is weird, but okay, sheet metal. Make that. Okay, that should be enough of those. But maybe one more. Okay, now we need six logs. Alright, that should do it for this video. And uh, hopefully you learned some tips that will help you build your base and get started in the game. And if you learned anything, maybe give me a like and a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And as always, I'm Major Green, and I'll see you in the next video.